this is Vishal here. Today we're gonna create bottom tap sliding animation. So let's get started. We have created tap 6 screen. Now add that screen at stack navigator. Now add list item for tap 6. Now move to tap 6 file. So here I added tab array of size 4. Here add tab navigator from tab 4. Paste here. Import necessary component. Yeah, import create bottom tab navigator. Alright, tab appeared. Hide header, add screen options. In that set header shown to false. Now we go to official doc. Select FEI reference and in the FEI reference select navigators and then click on bottom tabs. Now from here copy my tab barcode and paste in the tab 6. Now specify style for tab bar view, tab bar container. Create tab bar container style. Flex direction will be row, width will be around 94%, height will be 60, position will be absolute. Align self to center, bottom to be 16. Background color will be gray for debugging. Border radius will be 10. Now you can change this tab bar icon. First cut this icon component and remove this function. We pass object which holds active icon, inactive icon and type of icon. We get its value from tab array. We only pass this object when we use this custom tab bar. Elsewhere it gives an error. Here we get descriptors from props. And from this descriptors we get options for a specific route. And from these options we set label on the behalf of tab bar label or a title or a route name. So let's console log it what we get in these options. So you can see here we get tab bar color and tab bar icon object and get icon name and its type. And if I add another property it also written in options. Let's add tab color. Yeah, now you can see we get tab color. Now paste that icon component here which we have cut from tab bar icon options. Here add constant tab bar icon and get tab bar icon value from options. In the name add tab bar icon dot active icon name. Add a condition when each focus is true, then active icon else tab bar icon dot inactive icon. Here add tab bar icon dot type for icon type. In the color add black color for now. Now save it. Yeah, it works. Now make icon and label to align center. Yeah, it's centered, but make justify content to space around. Yes, perfect now. Change its color to white. Remove console log. 
Now let's create sliding animation. First we add some constants. Margin is 16. Tab bar width is screen width minus 2 into margin. Subtract left and right margin. Get a screen width from dimensions. Dimensions dot get window. Now add tab width. So it is tab bar width divided by length of tab array, which is 4. So now add this tab bar width at tab bar container width and add margin here. So in the tab bar container add two views. Outer view style will be sliding tab bar container. This inner view style will be sliding tab. Now create these styles. Width will be tab width. Style sheet dot absolute fill object and background color will be gray for now. Now add sliding tab style. Width will be 60 and height will be 60. Border radius will be 30. Background color will be primary. Now save it. Add bottom margin to 20. So in sliding container, add align items to center. Increase bottom margin. Now perfect. Border width will be 4 and border color will be white. Okay, now move to my tab bar component. Add constant translate x equal to use state new animated dot value initial value will be 0 now add translate tab function add animated dot spring then add first parameter translate x and second parameter which is object to value index into tab width and add use native driver to true then add dot start so we'll call it in the use effect we get index from state it will call and it render when index change now make this view animated so in the style a transform and then add translate x Yeah, sliding worked pretty well, but I can not align center. So we have to add flex to one at here. Save now. Now it align center. Now if I copy this transform and comment this inner sliding tab view and paste this transform here and save it. Now you can see it is also work. Comment this container's background color. Now we'll move this icon when icon focused. Let's cut this from here. Add tab icon component and paste here. Here we also copy translation mechanism. Change translate x to y. Remove translate tab function from use effect and change this translate tab to translate icon. Now add its focused tab icon and label property. And change this tab bar icon with tab icon. You can make it same as 2. Here add index also.
so let's add tab icon properties and tab icon pass tab bar icon is focused and level and in the index pass state.index now we change translate icon value now in use effect we check if each focus is true then call translate icon and pass different value when each focus is true icon moves up and when not then it is centered here add value to minus 10 add animated view and add styles transform and then translate by now wrap it around icon component now you can see it moves up change its value to minus 14 now perfect change icon color when focus is true then white and when not then dark gray yeah looks great change label color too here add tab color prop and get it from options dot tab color also add tab color at tab icon component replace it with tab color save this now we'll change tab background color so add sliding tab add background color and here we get color from tab array pass index then dot tab bar color all right let's test it yeah working perfectly Here we can remove this index and use each focused independency array of use effect then it is also work. Now you can try different combination of color or styles to change this bottom tab and can make its different variants I hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this tutorial so see ya until the next video and never forget to like and subscribe the channel take care and bye bye